So now we have our example two. An EMF, an EMF in an alternating current circuit is given by E of T, E as a function of T, which is equal to T all over pi, for T in between 0 and pi all over 2. And it is 1 minus T all over pi, for T in between pi all over 2 and pi. And this is a function which is of period pi. The period is now pi pi, not 2 pi. It's missing. Oh yeah, there is that sign. So pi all over 2 to pi. So this function is superior to what? Pi. So meaning our 2L is equal to, so L will be equal to what? Pi all over so that will be our eh? L. So you sketch the graph for t in between minus pi and positive 3 pi all over 2. And determine its Fourier series represent representation. Then you do part 2 by doing some letting so that you get the answer. So a part 2 is something that now you can be able to do because we have done it in our part 1, part 1. Do you get that? In our example, what? One. So in our ex part one, we want to sketch this graph, and then we determine its Fourier C series. So we start with our solution. With our solution. When, we are in part one. When t is equal to zero. When t is zero, our e of t will be what? will be zero. If you only put zero here, zero divided by pi is z? Zero. When t is equal to now pi all over two, e as a function of t will be equal to what? You put pi all over two here, you put pi all over two where there is t, you put pi all over two, the answer will be a half. A half. Mm -hmm. When t is equals to also pi all over 2. For the next interval, this one. You input this one here, our e of t will also be what? Pi, we will also be a half? A half. Because when you insert pi all over 2 here, it is a scenario of 1 minus a half, which is equal to a half? A half. When t is now equal to pi, what will be our e of t? e of t will be equal to z? Zero. Where pi over pi will be one. One minus one is z? Zero. So since we are just having t power one, t power one, these end points of ours will be joined by a straight line? Straight line. If there was t squared somewhere, the end points will be joined by a curve? A curve. So we proceed now and sketch our graph. We have pi all over 2 here. We have pi. We have 3 pi all over 2. Here we have minus pi all over 2. And there we have minus pi. So let's have a half somewhere there. Just a sketch. So point zero zero is this point. Point pi all over two a half. Pi all over two a half is somewhere there. That's point pi all over two a half a half. Now point pi all over two a half is the same point. Point pi zero is this point. That is point pi zero. Then we join them by a straight la line. Now, because that's one period, we are told we even do it up to here. 
So meaning it will be another period? Period. So it starts, it ends. We are told we do it up to 3 pi all over 2. It normally starts when we are going upwards. Eh? So this one will go up to, it's up to where? Up to a half. So that is it. So that is the graph of what we have. We have. Now when you check that graph, when you check that graph, if it is now drawn fully like that, that graph, is it even or odd? It is even, eh? It is now even. So, if it is even, now we say the function, the, fu the E of T is an even fa, is an even function. It's an even fa function. Hence, Bn will be equal to what? Hence, Bn will be equal to Z? Zero. So, E of T will now take which format? N naught all over 2 plus summation. N starting from 1 to infinity, An cos N pi T all over A. But L, but 2L is equals to now pi. L is equals to pi all over 2. Therefore, our E of T, when we write it, will be equal to what? Our E of T will be N out all over 2 plus summation. N starting from 1 to infinity. An. An cos. When we input pi all over 2, pi will cancel pi. Eh? Then 2 will go up. It will be cos 2 and t. It will be cos 2 and t. Now from there we can start by getting n o n o n o will be 2 all over n. We integrate from 0 to n. f of t d what? dt. Which is 2 all over pi. 2 all over pi all over 2. Eh? Our l is pi all over 2. We integrate from 0 to l and our l is pi all over 2. Between 0 and pi all over 2, what is our function? Between 0 and pi all over 2. What is our function? T all over pi. Now this T all over pi, we multiply now with the dt. So our n out will now be equal to 4 all over, 4 all over pi. 2 divided by pi all over 2, we get 4 all over pi. 4 all over pi, when we integrate that one, we get t squared all over 2 pi. 2 pi. And then we input our limits from 0 to pi all over 2. Pi all over 2, which will be 4 all over pi. We are now, where there is t, you put pi all over 2, we get pi squared, pi squared over 4, 4, so it will be 8 pi. Lower limit will bring all the zeros. So the answer is equal to a half? A half. The answer is a half. So we proceed with the a n, which will now be 2 all over l. We do from 0 to l. A of t cos n pi t all over L then dt.
So this will be equal to 2 all over pi all over 2. We have 0 to pi all over 2. E as a function of t there is just equal to t all over pi. pi. And then we have cos n pi t all over 2 pi all over 2. Then dt. Now this 1 over pi, I can take it out. Eh? Yeah, 1 over pi, it is just a constant. Eh? Here we are going to have a scenario of 4 all over pi. I bring 1 over pi out, which is that. Then I have the integral from 0 to pi all over 2. t cos 2nt. 2nt. d what? dt. This one will just give me 4. And that is just 4 all over pi squared. Eh? 4 all over pi squared. The integral from 0 to pi all over 2. t cos 2nt dt. From here we can let let u be equal to t. Let dv be equal to cos 2nt. du is equal to dt. v is equal to 1 all over 2n sin 2nt. Sin 2nt. So let's insert this. So we'll be having our a n being equal to 4 all over pi squared. All over pi squared. Then we open a bracket. We have a uv. T all over 2 n sine 2 n t. We have from 0 to pi all over 2. 0 to pi all over yeah, t, that one. Uh -huh. Minus the integral from 0 to pi all over 2. Integral from 0 to pi all over 2. V du. So 1 all over 2n. Sine 2nt. D what? Dt which is equals to 4 all over pi square into when you insert pi all over 2 here you will remain with the sin n pi eh? and sin n pi is z? 0 when you input this 0 here sin 0 is also z? 0 so this one comfortably approaches 0 when you integrate a sign, you get a negative cos. Eh? So we'll be having ne uh, negative and negative po positive. So we'll be having 1 all over now what? 4n squared. Because another 2n will come down. So it will be 1 all over 4n squared cos 2nt. We have from 0 to pi all over what? which we have 4 all over pi squared. Uh, and uh, this 1 all over 4 n squared, we also take it out. We only remain with the cos 2 n t. Put pi all over 2 here, we get cos what? Cos n pi? n pi. Minus cos of 0, which is what? 1. So this one gives us 1 all over pi squared n square n squared into negative 1 power n minus 1.
So this one, something is going to happen. It is not defined for all values of n. Eh? When n is odd, there will be something. When n is even, this one will be positive 1 minus 1, which will be z? 0. So we say when n is odd, when n is odd, our a n will be equal to negative 2 all over pi squared n squared. And when n is even, A n will be equal to n will be equal to z zero. Uh, document up to that level. I hope you are through. It's well documented, eh? So we can write the Fourier series represent a representation. We can now write the Fourier series representation. So, our f of t will be equal to a naught divided by 2. a naught, when you divide half divided by 2, you get a quarter? A quarter. Plus now summation. n starting from 1 to infinity. So, a quarter plus summation. Plus summation. a n, our a n was minus 2 all over pi n squared. And only defined for odd. So we say minus 2 all over pi squared. Where there is n, now we insert 2n minus 1. Then we square. This one is going with the cos. 2. It was to be 2. n t. But n now must be oh, odd. So we input where there was n, you insert 2n minus 1. Then now multiplying what? t. That is the Fourier series represent? representation. From there, we are only told to get Fourier series representation, but we can simplify this one a bit. This minus 2 can come forward all over pi squared. Then we have summation. And starting from 1 to infinity. 1 all over 2n minus 1, which is squared. Cos 2 into 2n minus 1, multiplying it in. Now, in our part 2 of this question, you are told, by letting t to be equal to 0, show, that, so sh show some relationship. So we say, now f of 0 will be equal to a quarter. Minus 2 all over pi squared. We have summation. And starting from 1 to infinity. 1 all over 2 n minus 1 square. Square. Because cos 0 will be what? 1. So this is where we are. From our graph. If we check our graph. When t is equal to 0. When t is equal to 0. What was our function of t? This one was 0. Eh? f of t was equal to 0, and t is equal to z? 0. Uh, so remember, this function we were working on, it was not function of t, it was e of t. Eh? Mm, so we put, we put here e of 0, which will be 0. It's equal to a quarter, minus 2 all over pi squared summation n starting from 1 to infinity 1 all over 2 n minus 1 square now let's take this value this way it will become minus a quarter a quarter is equal to minus 2 all over pi square summation n starting from 1 to infinity 1 all over 2n minus 1, which is square? Square. Now we pick this, take to this other side. It will be minus a quarter. This will mean we cross multiply. Pi squared will go up here. Negative 2 will come down. 
cross multiplication which will give us what? Summation n starting from 1 to infinity. 1 all over 2n minus 1 which is square? Square. Therefore, pi squared all over 8 is actually equal to summation n starting from 1 up to 8 up to infinity up to infinity 1 all over 2 n minus 1 square and then we say hands to show sure